Are earwigs wreaking havoc in your garden like what's happening in ours? Well, we found a solution. Hey, Provident Preppers, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kylene, the crazy plant lady, and I am all about growing my own food as naturally as I possibly can, which means that in our garden, we don't use any dangerous pesticides or chemicals. It's just forbidden. And so Jonathan has to come up with a whole bunch of creative ways to be able to um, eliminate the pests without causing any harm to me. And I'm especially sensitive because I have MS and those chemicals just wreak havoc with my body. So the latest problem has been earwigs. Right, and, and last year and this, the earwigs have just been thick. And I don't know if that's environmental conditions or if maybe they just got building up over time and, and as some things go, they go exponential. You know, you're going along and suddenly you hit that point where it just goes crazy. So last year in this, we've just had a lot of problems with earwigs. Yeah, and they've been causing a lot of damage, especially with some of my newer plants. They just, they're fine one day and then I go out there and they are just eaten to shreds. And so that's really frustrating. Earwigs actually aren't dangerous like to people and to right. healthy plants, they're okay, but they do love our Swiss chard. And I think that's why Jonathan declared war on him because he loves our Swiss chard and they like to nest right down there in the base of it. But okay, all that aside, Jonathan found a solution. Now you can use diatomaceous earth. Um, and, it, and I thought that was a really good solution. Yeah, but okay. I am trying to achieve balance in my garden because I believe that nature will naturally balance things out. And what's happened is the earwigs have become out of balance. But if I use diatomaceous earth, it kills all of the insects that have an exoskeleton, which means that some of the good beneficial insects are also gonna die, which we're just gonna kind of have a problem. So we wanted to target the earwigs and he came up with a great solution. The goal isn't to get rid of all the earwigs, because that isn't balance either. Uh, because in fact, earwigs do eat aphids and other things. So, you know, there's this dance going on, but suddenly there's way more guys than girls and the dance isn't working very well. The <laughs> earwigs are out of control. And so um, I, I started looking for a solution and I found one and hopefully at the end, you'll provide any other solutions so that we can all benefit. So what we ended up with is, I. Well, wait. Let me show that. I have to show you this first. So okay. this is the earwig trap. It's been out there for just a few days. And can you see all of those critters? Like this really works, really works. I've been so impressed. So we put several of these all over our garden. Maybe. And we're going to put many more because there's too many. So I found, um, I stole a bunch of mama's containers <laughs> that she puts jam and such in. But I think under the circumstances, I can be forgiven and we get more from time to time. So this is a very simple trap. Uh, we're just looking for a container um, and you can even use like a tuna can. I like this size or the sour cream size. This is doable, but any of these will work. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water, you know, like half to two thirds of an inch of water in the bottom. And then you can put a thin layer of oil. Now you could just use oil and that's what I did in this one but oil's a lot more expensive than water. So I put the water, the oil just sits on top of the water. It's gonna sit on there. It's gonna keep it from drying out. Not that we need that because we dump this fairly regularly and we try and salvage what Shall we I can. Show them what we do? Watch, yeah. watch, watch. This is really kind of gross. Look at all those earwigs. Oh, 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 poor guys. They had a really rough day. It'll teach them to come to the Jones house, right? And but see all those critters in there now we'll just empty this and then we'll pour all of this back in there and just use it over and over again so it's very economical right so again you want the water in the bottom because it's inexpensive <laughs> you got smells the good it smells like fried rice That's yeah it does gross. and we'll talk about that in just a minute <laughs> a thin layer of oil and then i just add a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce as the attractant that's what attracts them in is the soy sauce so you can also use tuna fish oil or, you know, there's some other things, but uh, we didn't want to use the fish oil uh, because the cats are roaming around and I'm afraid that they would catch wind of that and try and open up the trap or mess. or mess, yeah. you know, mess with it somehow. But it's simply that. And um, I just used a hole punch. You could use a soldering iron, 
some people do to, to punch holes around the side and, and in the top. You can see I've, I've got in this one six holes around the top and six holes around the, the top of, near the top of the container here. And the earwigs just go in. So it, we're going to bury this, right? So when he buries it in the ground, it's going to be buried, the soil's going to be right about here, yeah. just below those holes. Yeah, right up to about the holes. And then we just, we have the water, the oil, and the attractant, the soy sauce in there. And we just let it be. And, and it um, works so it, good. It works extremely well. Uh, and again, we're not wanting to get rid of all of them, but we certainly need to control them. We need to bring things back into a better balance. So now you know the secret formula, right? And hopefully this will help you because as we're all growing our own food, we are just gonna be so much better off to be able to have those fresh fruits and vegetables in our own backyard, as well as, you know, when things get harder and we're not able to get them from the store, we're not gonna have to worry because we've already figured out how to do this. We've already figured out how to control the ear earwigs. So now for the question of the day. Do you have any other great methods for getting rid of ear earwigs that are kind of organic and don't use harsh chemicals? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.